Praise you, everybody. This week's Torah reading, we're going to continue reading. If you missed it, you can go back and read what we've read so far. This week's Torah reading is Exodus 20, 7, 20 to Exodus 30, verse 10. 27, 30 to verse 30, verse 10. So we're up to chapter 30. We're going to read 10 verses here today. Okay, we last saw here in verse 46 of Exodus 29. And they shall know that I am Yah, their Elohim, who brought them from the land of Egypt, that I may dwell in their midst. I am Yah, their Elohim. And I would suggest to all of you today, you should know he's Yah who dwells amongst us, Yah Elohim. So now we're going to look at chapter 30, the first 10 verses. And you shall make an altar, a place for burning incense, and you shall make it of acacia wood. It shall be a cubic in length and a cubic in width, and it shall be a square, and its height shall be two cubics. Its horns are to be part of itself. And if you can go online and look at the, the altar and exactly how it looks and what it looks like, and you shall overlay it with pure gold, its top and its walls all around, and its horns. And you shall make a wrath of gold for it all around. And you shall make two rings of gold for it under its wrath. And you shall make two corners on its two sides. And they shall be housing for poles to lift them up by it. And you shall make the poles of a, a sea wood, and they shall overlay them with gold. And you shall put it before the veil, which it, uh, which is besides the ark of the testimonial, in front of the mercy seat, which is over the testimonial, there where I meet you. And Aaron shall burn incense of perfume on it, morning by morning. And when he dresses the lamps, he shall burn it. And when Aaron sets the lamps between the evenings, he shall burn it, the patrial incense before the face of Yah for your generations. You shall not offer strange incense on it and burnt offerings and food offerings, and you shall not pour out a drink offering to go up on it. And Aaron shall make atonement on its horns once a year. From the blood of the sin offering of the atonement once a year, he shall make atonement on it for your generations. It is most holy to Yah. So we're looking here at uh, one of Yah's important appointed times known as the Day of Atonement, where Yah would let his, the priesthood make atonement for the people as they look forward to our wonderful Messiah, the ultimate sacrifice, who not just one day a year, who for all time died and took away the penalty of sin. So we see the blood of, of animals here, but we look forward to, the, or they look forward to the blood of our wonderful Messiah. And today we're in a different position. There is no temple. There is no Levitical priesthood in order. But what we do have is we have the high priest in Yahshua, a wonderful Messiah, who's already made that final once and, and final sacrifice for us, where we could look back on his blood that he shed for us. And then we can go straight to Yah through him and not have to deal with uh, Levitical priesthood system. Hallelujah. Uh, but this is the working up to all this, and we're going to look at this as we continue to move forward in reading the Torah reading next week. And praise Yah, we finished the reading this week. Please go back and read it again and uh, post your questions below the video. Until then, everybody, keep this ministry in prayer. Yah be with you this day and always. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this blessed day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.
Yah be with you, and shalom, shalom.